Hello and welcome. My name is Matthew Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Companies, and today we're going to be going over HID's Easy Lobby Secure Visitor Management software. Uh, this is a video that is intended to be used for training purposes, uh, as well as show you about how long it's physically going to take uh, to check a visitor in. So today we will be using a Honeywell barcode scanner, a Dymo temporary badge printer, and an Accuant driver's license scanner. Uh, these are just some of the devices that will work with this system. Uh, there's many other peripherals that we can use, uh, so if you've got existing equipment, you can check with your vendor to see if uh, it would be compatible. So let's jump in. Welcome, can I see your ID please? Sure. So the ID scanner will uh, grab information off of the driver's license or any other form of uh, identification. Thank you, and who are you here to see? Uh, John Smith. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Please keep this on you at all times. Awesome. And you're good to go. Thank you. Uh, so you can keep the record open even though they've already been checked in uh, so that as the person is driving away, say that you're at a guard shack or, or somewhere that they're in a vehicle, you can switch over to the vehicle tab and grab the make, model, uh, color, plate number, things of that nature. Uh, you also see that it grabbed information off of his driver's license. You can choose what information this grabs uh, as well as if it's blocked out like the license number here. If there's other information that you wanted to grab, uh, you can define special fields um, such as who that person's here to visit, if they're not an employee, uh, things of that nature. Anything that you wanted to, you can change the name of these user-defined fields. Uh, you can also grab signatures from the visitor uh, using a attached signature pad. Uh, it also grabs the photo from the uh, license that you can customize onto the badge that is printed. So. It keeps all of these records in this uh, normal grid view that you'll see up here and shows you all the people that have been checked in today. Uh, and they all have different icons by them, whether they're checked in or checked out. Uh, and you can see that uh, Daniel here is the one that we just checked in and he's got this kind of teal arrow. Uh, so that's showing me that he's currently on the facility where these other people have the red arrow uh, and they've already checked out, but they were here today. Oh, sir, I just need your badge. Sure. All right, you're good to go. Awesome. Have a good day. Thank you. It's as simple as that. You can set up different categories of visitors as well. Uh, you can have contractors that have more permanent badges. Uh, it's a PVC material about the size of a credit card uh, that they keep with them all the time that has that same barcode we just used. Um, so that when they arrive on your facility, it's very quick. They just show their ID, scan it, checks them in. And as soon as they're done, they show their ID again, scan it, check it out. But they take that with them. Uh, so you're not using the resource over and over again. Um, but one concern that a, a customer had along with that is what do you do if uh, that employee has been terminated? Uh, you'll have to have an open uh, relationship with that vendor. Uh, and They'll let you know when certain employees that visit your facility uh, frequently are terminated. Uh, but when that does happen, you can add that person to um, what's called a watch list. Uh, and essentially what that does is it, it gives you an alert, a red flag, when that person tries to enter your facility again. Uh, and you can have special instructions attached with that. And we'll show you how that looks real quick. Oh, sir, can I see your ID, please? Sure. You see... The error has popped up, big red lettering, uh, it's matched his name, it gives special instructions, do not let this person on the property under any circumstance. I'm sorry sir, I can't let you on today. Uh, you'll have to contact the administration uh, to find out why. So you can see it pops up an error here uh, with uh, information about the person that tried to check in. Uh, and you can fill out all these fields, attach different pictures to it uh, to help you identify if this really is the person that you don't want on your facility uh, or just somebody that shares the same name. Uh, as well as attach different aliases to them and different reasons as to why uh, you're not letting them on property. Cancel it, you can override it. Uh, so this has been a brief tutorial on HID's Easy Lobby system. 
Uh, we just went over the actual visitor management side of this. Uh, this software is pretty robust and it has other aspects associated with it like uh, package management, lost and found items, and other asset management that you may want to check in and out. Um, it's all very straightforward and, and works in a similar fashion. Uh, and it also has very good notification uh, applications, so you can put in panic messages or uh, automated alerts uh, to employees when their visitors arrive. If you have any other questions or concerns, uh, please leave a comment below or give us a call in the number in the description. Thank you for watching.